Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to set up a flex gateway on Minikube. So Minikube is nothing, it's a mini version of your Kubernetes. So in our previous video, we have gone through how to set up a flex gateway on Docker container in connected and the local mode. In this video, we will focus on how to set up a flex gateway on Minikube in the connected mode. So let's get started. So there are few prerequisites that you need to fulfill before you start a, start setting up a flex gateway on your Kubernetes. The first thing you require a Docker desktop basically. So you may also you make use of uh, Oracle uh, VirtualBox, but in my case I am just making use of a Docker desktop. Then you need to set up a Minikube. So I have already set up a Minikube on my laptop. So you can also set up. So basically you can go to this particular site minikube.sigs.kas.io and depending on your operating system you can set up uh, your Minikube. So if you see, so these are the few things like you know commands you need to run on your on your power cell. So these are the few commands then you just uh, use this Minikube start. Okay, so let me check what is the status of my Minikube. I can say Minikube status. Okay, so it will provide me status like type is control plane, host is running, kubelet is running, API server is running, and kube config is running. And if you see in the Docker container, you will see one mini kube uh, container is, is in running mode basically. And you can see one image also. So this is the image used by mini kube. Okay, so these are the very few simple steps you need to perform for installing a mini kube. It's very simple, you don't have to worry. It. Now, if you want to see the web application for mini kube, you can simply say mini kube dashboard. So it will open a web application here you can see all the details what are the applications what are the ports what are the ingress running on your mini cube so what are the different namespace right now we have only one namespace that is default okay so so we have seen like what are the prerequisite uh, for setting up flex gateway on the mini cube so we have gone through that now we will start setting up flex gateway on the mini cube so basically i will log in into my any point platform Okay, so this is my AnyPoint platform. You can go to Runtime Manager in your AnyPoint platform. Then you see, you will see the option that is the Flex Gateway. And then you can click on this Add Gateway. And here you have a Kubernetes instance. You can click on this Kubernetes. Right now, Flex Gateway support Linux, Docker, and Kubernetes. In our previous video, we have seen like 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 how we can set up a Flex Gateway in local mode and the connected mode on the Docker container. Here we will see how we can set up Kubernetes on the Kubernetes or how we can set up a flex gateway as a on a mini cube or a mini Kubernetes basically. Okay, so I will just click on this and here it will say like you know, you can also install a uh, flex gateway on K3D basically, right? But in our case, I will going to use mini cube, right? So let me start with the second part. So I will start registering my flex gateway. I will copy this command and let me copy the notepad basically. Okay, so let me bring everything into one line. The first thing because I am using the window if you are using the cell you don't have to do that I will bring this into the one line and I have to give a path because I am using the window in uh, Linux or cell the PWD will work in Windows it will not work so I have already have this particular path I created under a C user Z10 like flex gateway I can copy this path and I can just replace dollar PWD with this particular path okay and I can copy this command. Let me copy this command. Okay, so we are running in the connected mode. So that's why you can see the connected is true. Copy it. Then I can go to a command prompt. I can simply say command prompt. I will just paste it and just say enter. The system cannot uh, find the file specified. Yeah, correct. So basically, I have to provide a get gateway name also. So something called gateway name. So I can provide a mule mini cube demo. Okay. So you have to provide the gateway name also. So let me copy this. Okay. So it start registering start registration please be patient okay so now it has been registered 
and you can see it have generated a three file it contains like some certificates and some configuration which can communicate with your any point platform then you can go to your any point platform we will see it later so you will see the uh, one instance get generated here also let's see like we can click on flex gateway and here you can see mule mini cube demonstration let me go back to my ad so we have already registered it now second uh, we have to create a gateway basically we are creating a namespace uh, known as a gateway so let me go and that quickly do that so namespace gateway has been created very simple now we have to generate a secret for all these three files basically so for these three files i have to generate a secret so i can use this particular command so i can go back to my notepad and you have to replace this uid of your files so you, this is the UUID. You can get it from these three files. Just rename it. Copy it from here. Just paste it. Okay. Okay. You have to provide UUID. This is the secret name. So try to keep the same secret name as uh, UUID. Just I am just bringing everything into a single line. This will make my life easier. Okay, everything into the single line and what I will do so copy this make sure you are running from running the command from the path where these three files has been generated okay so I can just say so you can see the secret has been created like you know this all uh, files uh, will be stored as encrypted on your mini cube next thing uh, the other there's a one more prerequisite helm basically so you require the helm also so in my case i already have a helm uh, uh, exe so you can download it from the internet you can get it basically so let me check where is my helm so under minikube i have this particular exe helm so you can search on the google like you know so helm on windows so installing him you can get it from here basically okay so now i have to run this particular command i can copy this and i can go to a place where helm is located i can run this enter so yeah helm already exists so it is skipping in your case like uh, helm might not be exist so it will just configure it in case if it exists it will not configure it now i will say helm repo up okay it is done so now next thing so now we have to register the ingress basically so copy this particular command and go to notepad and i will just remove this weight basically it take bit of time so i will remove this so you can keep it also so weight means like it will keep waiting so let me go i have to got i have to uh, get a uuid let me go back to my user within like a flex gateway copy this command and go back just uh, replace this UUID of your file copy this command and just paste it here enter so it is installing it now because it doesn't exist so yeah so you can see your ingress has been successfully deployed basically now you can again say mini cube dash board okay now you will see one more namespace that is the gateway if you click on gateway you can see like you know uh, the ingress is up and running you can see everything like your ingress is up and running now you go to uh, you run this particular command last command so it will see the status of the ingress so let me go there on command prompt so you can see this is my ingress url ingress http on port 80 and http 00443 okay so this uh, it has already installed the ingress in http and https mode let me close all this browser i have a lot of like lot of command prompts okay i don't require those things okay so now let me check uh, the status it should be connected you can see your mini cube is in the connected mode or the flex gateway is in the connected mode so now next i will try to publish the api on it basically right so i have already have one api and i want to set up a flex gate on the top of this api this api basically uh, return a result you know uh, a time zone result 
so what I will do so I can go to flex gateway and within that flex gateway I can go to APIs before that I can show you something basically let me open CMD so what are the services available so I can use command mini cube mini cube service list so it will give list of service on this particular uh, mini cube so you have some like uh, systems uh, services this are some system name then the gateway which we have created the namespace under that our ingress is running and these are the url for your ingress basically we will require this url just keep this open okay the next thing let me add the api i will simply say under this flex gateway i need to add some api so i can select uh, this particular flex gateway I can say next okay and I can say create new API and I will say time zone API then I will select type as a HTTP API then I will say next okay let's wait okay now you have to provide the implementation URI so I will just provide this as my implementation URI so world time zone API dot org so this is my implementation URI okay so I will just go to advanced option here I will just change the port to 80 because my ingress is running on 80 so I will just change this to 80 and simply you can say next and everything is been set up save and deployed okay so let's wait your API is active okay so you can see the API status is active it has been successfully published to your flex gateway now let me access this for accessing this what we will use this particular HTTP uh, because we have deployed our API on 80 port so we will use this particular URI okay so control V then like this is my implementation URI then I have to give the URL from here slash it should not work because this 192.168.49.2 this is the private IP address right or a private IP address you have a container so you cannot access this so what I can do I can go to the mini cube container okay so under container I can open the CLI and then I can use the C URL minus K and I will give this particular URL see we got a successful response now the question is that like how can I access this particular API from my local basically or right because right now this 192.168.49.2 is the pub it's a private IP address of your ingress so you cannot directly access so what I have done I went into the container then I have run the CURL command and we got a successful response for that so you can see the HTTP one this is my you know uh, URL of the ingress now I want to run this particular uh, API from outside the container so what I can do so there is a command like you have to uh, get a tunnel URL so for that so what you have to do so there is a command mini cube then you can say service what is the service name so let me show that so my service name is ingress so I will say ingress then what you want I want a URL through which I can access this particular API then under which namespace so minus n so what is the name namespace gateway I can show that so see the ingress is under the gateway namespace okay simply say enter it should generate a uh, two URLs so copy one of them so this is the local URL and just replace this with this just say enter you got the successful response right so that is how you can get a tunnel URL basically so this URL what we'll do from this URL the request uh, will go to that ingress uh, URL this one from there the, the request will go to this world time join API now I want to secure this particular API I want to apply some policy so I can go to the API manager instance of this particular API then I can say add policy then I can apply some basic policy next then I can say admin admin apply so let me copy this command again let me close this let me close this let's wait close uh, you know. so let me open other browser because it get case or uh, also it takes some time for policy to get applied so here it is prompting me for the username and password just a minute let me check something got changed 
yes because we have redeployed the port number will change basically so i have to find the other url so that is the right behavior so let me do that we got a successful response and it also from for the username and the password so this is how you can set up a flex gateway on minikube or any kubernetes instance it's very simple basically right and like you if you want to publish as many as api you can do from your api manager even you don't want to want to execute any command basically for on your minikube basically you can simply publish your api from the api manager simply like and also you can check you know uh, the you can go to basically runtime manager flex gateway and the flex gateway you can see that like you no know, so you can see all these thing basically then also like if you want to see some logs and all those things so you can see some kind of logs in any point monitoring also So here you can see some kind of logs like some kind of metrics and everything basically so number of request you know so those kind of things request failures then client application right so you can see all this thing here so you can see the metrics and everything so yeah this is all about like how you can set up a flex gate on the mini cube or mini kubernetes basically i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching